Greetings, salutations, good morning, good evening, it's me, James, your BA Sensei, and I'm back with another Power Query tutorial. In this video, we're going to do something different. I'm going to look at two specific use cases. They're all related using the same functions. First thing, we got a nice data set over here. We got ratings, S&P and Moody's ratings for each country um, at this specific date. We want to filter always on the S&P rating, and we always want to filter on everything AA. So that's quite easy. We have that, and we say refresh. That should give you everything S&P. But let's say, for instance, their data source is not very consistent. That next week they give you, instead of calling the column S&P, they call it S&P rating. And now you still want to filter on it without changing the name, but you know it's always column two. If I refresh this, you'll notice that it's still refreshing even though I've changed the name there. But the one assumption here is I always know it's column two. The second case we're going to use is we're going to say, cool, we got this little filtering perimeter table and we want to filter on the Moody's rating and I put the column I want to filter on and I want to filter Moody's on, let's say, A3. So once I've selected that, I just refresh and that should bring back all the A3s. But let's say, for instance, I want to filter on the Fitch rating. I just basically put the Fitch rating over there and I say I want to see everything B+. Plus. Yes, and I refresh this. So refresh gives me all the B. How do I implement this? All right, let's start by putting this into Power Query. We say this one and we import that into Power Query. I'm going to call this position. Yeah. All right, so we are now manually filtering this table because we want to have the requirement is to filter S&P ratings on triple A. There we go. Now let's quickly look at the syntax over here. You can see that what it's saying is table select rows from each record in the column S&P ratings where is equal to AA. So just note one thing, each is sugar syntax. In, in Power Query. It actually, each row, each record re is represented by an underscore. So if I do this, you'll notice, and I press enter, nothing broke. It's because each can be replaced by this underscore variable. And this column, actually, it's almost like an inner join. It's the context of each row is also given by an underscore. So each record is an underscore, but you don't see that because it's the default sugar syntax. You see, that still works. So what we're going to do is we are going to be looking at a function called record.field. Before I go on, I want to show you something really cool. Let's start a blank query, something I learned recently. Normally, what I'll do is I will look at the documentation online, but now you can just go like this. Say shared. And this gives you, let's convert that to a table. This gives you a list of all the functions and documentation in Power Query. So if I want to look at... All the record functions, I just go to record dot. The record function we're going to use today is record.field. And you click on that, it actually gives you supporting documentation with the example of that. So for this one, we're going to, this example, we're going to be looking at record.field. Let's quickly go in there and let's apply that. So we're going to say record.field. Yeah, and we open the bracket. The first record, okay, so it returns a value of a specified field in a record. All right, because we want to return the value for the S&P ratings. So we say, cool, the very first perimeter is a record, and we know the underscore does that. And the second one is field as text. We close that. This is not text, so we need to take that out, and the field is that. And if I press enter, that should work. All right, but this is still hard coding. If this this name changed to SNP in the next data set, then it will break because it can't find that. So what we need to do is we need to look at a, a function called table dot column names. Let me quickly show you something cool there. I'm just going to filter this on table dot column documentation there. So the one we're going to be looking at is table of column names, returns the column names in the table list of text. So basically it returns a list. So if I look at that, if I just, let's duplicate this quickly, and I just take this step out and I use that function, 
that I uh, insert a step after and I call this table dot column names and I say for everything in the source it's going to give me a list of all the column names in my source so remember let's start counting 0 1 2 3 4 5 and I'm looking at 0 1 s and p is number 1 so what I'm going to do is I'm going to say take that away but we call that table dot column names but it's a list this thing wants text and we just put source in there so we need to convert this into we need to select the first item in that and that would be AA. There we go. So now the hard coding is completely eradicated to Excel. So now if I change this heading to SP and I rerun this, you see it still brings back only filtered on SP. If I make this SP rat and I run this, it will still do the same. See, but that's now assuming that this column 2 is always the S&P rating. All right, now in the second part of the video, we're going to be looking at pulling a perimeter table in and then selecting whatever is in here, selecting the column there, and then the value of that column and giving us an output table. So how will we do that? So let's first bring this perimeter table into Power Query. Once that's in, <coughs> We basically say yeah and we right click there we say drill down I'm gonna call this one the I'm gonna duplicate that that's for the name of the column it's gonna duplicate that let's uh, go one step back I say this one is drill down this is the value the one is for the name the one is for the value cool step one done what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna duplicate this one because I'm gonna work on and I'm going to call this one value table. Yes. So what we're going to do is we're going to just do a little bit of work here. This hard coding over here. We're just going to replace table dot source columns, right? We're going to replace that with the perimeter table name we just created. And this actual value, we're going to replace that with perimeter table value all right so there we go and we say close and load as you can see it's there but let's change this we want to bring back the column called let's say s and p everything that is a a plus right and i'm going to refresh this one there we go, all the AA plus. Let's say we want to do let's say we want to do Moody's rating. We say Moody's rating. Paste it in there. Let's say we want to do all the A3s. And if I refresh that, there we go. So that's how you can implement that in Power Query. Pretty cool, pretty cool. BA Sensei out.